Hey there, I'm Slightly Froggy. Welcome back to my stream. I hope you're having a good night. And tonight we are jumping into the, wow, 40th episode of us playing Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, hey there, Qua. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight. Um, I'm trying to recall if we've hit 40 on any other previous uh, games I play. I'm, I'm having trouble recalling. I know overall... All three of the Mass Effect games definitely surpassed 40, but one single game, no. <laughs> Episode 200 of Messy Facts Endo Endro Media. Actually, it was funny. I was just, I was talking with a friend the other day and they happened to see my thumbnail pop up on YouTube and we're like, oh, you're still playing Mass Effect Andromeda, huh? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, you know what? I don't really know anything about it. Like, is it good? And I'm not gonna lie, despite the fact that I have sunk, like, I'm doing the rough math in my head, at least 80 hours into this game, <laughs> I still hesitated, and I was like, it's fun. It's, I, like, I'm sure I will have, like, a, a proper, like, wrap-up to it with final thoughts once we hit those credits, but... Um, do I, am I liking it as much as the original trilogy? By the third one? No, but I would say, like, it's on par with the first one. And I think by the third one, sometimes our, our judgments are clouded by us having strong ties to past events, characters returning. Like, there's, I'm trying to find the right words here. It's like there's there's more tying you to it than just like a fun action game. This is like same universe, but it's it's kind of starting you off fresh slate, pretty much. Should we play it on your own time? That's a very good question. I might. Like, as much as I would like to like do a totally different playthrough and not have to worry about like having to do everything because I've already done it, it's fine. I've... I'd be tempted to try an evil playthrough, but I know it would never happen. Hey there, JJ. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight. Like, maybe I might have to watch an evil playthrough of the original trilogy. I don't think I could play it. Because, um, I'm really bad at being mean to video game characters. I've tried it, and, um, I, I can't do it. I, I can't. Like, it's a, it's, it's a fault. I can't. No. Okay, so I haven't been able to because I was busy for a good chunk of time last week. And over the weekend, despite the fact that I had, like, in Canada, we had a long weekend because it was the Canada Day long weekend. I was out of town and away from my computer. So I actually have not played any more Elden Ring since, uh, since last time. Still not done with the DLC. Honestly... I've I've given up on spoilers at this point. I'm not seeking them out, but when they happen now, it's like I'm not I'm not sweating it, which is maybe not the best way to go about it, but I can't afford to be completely disconnected until I finish it. I just I can't. It's not realistic. I follow too many like YouTube accounts and TikTok accounts that talk about nothing but Elden Ring. So a bunch of fireworks were outside my window. Actually, I saw some too. We were stuck in traffic. And we were going through a residential neighborhood, and the only fireworks I saw on Canada Day. But you know what? Probably a better view than some fireworks shows. Maybe you've only just beaten the Remembrance bosses. Half of them. Oh, boy. Like, that's just the... It's such a full game. And part of me wants to, like, take my time with it. I don't want to rush through it out of worry of spoilers. And this, this might be a controversial take. I feel like there are some mediums and some types of games where the spoilers are very interesting, but knowing them doesn't ruin your enjoyment of it. I don't know. Like, for something that's like a mystery, like a whodunit, if you're playing an Ace Attorney game and you already know who the killer is, that takes away the fun of it. Like, that's, that's a fact. But... Given some of the spoilers of Elden Ring, while well, yes, having that moment of clarity and realizing it for yourself is fun, like I don't want to take away the enjoyment of that, but
but I feel like you can still thoroughly enjoy the game and its mechanics and the sense of exploration, even if you get spoiled for a few things. That might be a controversial opinion, but that's... And, and I'll try to keep that in mind for... Like, I wouldn't want to spoil it for others. Ooh, congrats. What did you think? Had the bosses spoiled, don't know where they are on the maps, it feels like that. That's a thing, too. And it's like, for some of them, I don't have the context of why they're there. So I feel like there is still, like, the piecing together of it. Now, that being said, uh, Vadi has been releasing videos like crazy, which um, I watch because I can't help myself. I see the thumbnail pop up in my YouTube subscriptions, and I'm like, I'm watching that. <laughs> I gave up. I held off on, on not watching it, and I realized I wasn't getting as many opportunities to play the DLC as I want. So it's like, you know what? I'm just... I'm going to watch it. I'll spoil it for myself. I'm still going to enjoy the heck out of this game. I'm still going to sink a ton of hours into it. It'll happen. It'll just have to happen in my own time. And that's okay. So I'm just going to give it just a couple more minutes. I did, I did start a little bit later. I fell into that trap where I was like, oh, like I'm just going to take care of this one thing. And then I started doing it. And then I looked at the time and I went, shit. So, I'm going to make sure everybody has a bit of time. The Twitter notification goes off. Folks can log on. But I'm... I think we're jumping back into the main mission at this point. If I'm remembering our, our last stream. Just because we didn't stream last night. That was another thing. Because of the Canada Day long weekend. I didn't get to stream last night. So it has been a week since we last played. I'm, I'm quite sure... We're jumping back into the main story because I don't think there's too much else to do. We had our little moments with everybody. We had like the odd little side mission. Like we did a lot of side stuff last time, but I think we wanted to kind of jump into things with like a full stream ahead of us. And it was like, oh, well, it'll line up perfectly with the 40th episode. How about that? Actually, speaking of episodes, so as per usual, I've been watching a, a, the odd episode of Friends before signing on because we need something to watch while we eat dinner. Just finished season five. And it's just like, oh, man, every other episode I'm reminded that like Joey's the best friend. I stand by that. Hey there, Gabsby. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Dragged a bit in the middle. The ending was good. I was expecting something specific to... The Holmes character, they left it hanging. I feel like it was probably just like a, like a, like a wink, wink, nudge, nudge kind of reference. Like, you would think they would do more with it, but also, like, I've, I've got a pretty good handle on how Ace Attorney structures their games, and it's like, it's narrative first. References and callbacks are just minor distractions. Finished playing The Last of Us Part 2 recently for the first time. Like it. Not as much as Part 1, but I think it was worth my playing. That's good. Glad to hear you enjoyed it. I remember a lot of people were very split on that when Part 2 came out. Um, I know the spoilers for that one. I I know the game has been out for a bit. I'm not going to say it, but it's like... There were like some hard-hitting moments in uh, a lot of drama. It's an emotional game. <laughs> that's that's what little I know about it. That's what little I know about it. But yeah, I, I it was a very divisive game. I remember when it came out. I remember I think it was girlfriend reviews got into a, like a lot of people got really angry because they're like, yeah, it's fine. Like some people had like some very strong opinions about this game, and it's like. I don't see an issue in having strong opinions about a game, but it's like when you start getting on other, other people's case about it, it's like, it's an opinion. People like different things. Oh no, oh no. What an awful surprise. Had they like 
seen through like part one, like the the first game, I feel like that'd make it a lot harder. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. That being said, let's jump into Mass Effect Andromeda, which um, I'm now realizing I did not switch my audio inputs. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, so it hits like double hard there. Here we go. That's okay. All right, we can hear okay. Perfect. The other cases were good. Admittedly, from what I remember of playing the Ace Attorney games, the middle cases sometimes kind of drag a bit. There's usually at least one case that's like the weakest link of them, and it's usually somewhere in the middle. Because usually the first, like it's like a sandwich, where it's like the first and the last usually kind of tie together. If I'm remembering correctly, it's been a while. But it's usually like whatever's in the middle. There might be like one fun one and one like, eh, case. I've really got to watch The Last of Us. Like, I've only heard good things about, like, how the show was put on and his performance. Okay. Um, so let's see where we're at. Scan evidence from Ket Hand. Oh, we were going into this as well. Scan Dr. Aiden's equipment on Vold. Okay, so we have to... On Vold? No. Wait. I know this happened last time. Don't hold against me. Uh, we're on Havarl, so we gotta get to Vold. Amnesia the Bunker, ooh. Second playthrough. I, re I think I remember you mentioning how much you really enjoyed the first one. Or like your first playthrough of it. Enough change to be worth watching as well as still playing the series. Nice. Still holding up. Oh my gosh, it's Terminal. There's the evac point. Here we go. Extract to the tempest. I love when I just like fast travel somewhere and I just hear like the wild like that. Like I remember hearing about like some small things they changed. Now I have not played the first one, but I've heard a fair bit about it. Rider. Uh, yes. Here, wait. If you're just gonna tell me I have emails. Do I have emails? No. That's okay. Wait, I could archive emails? Could I do that the whole time? What does that do? Alright, so we gotta go to Havarl. Because Garrick's got a mission for us there. And, well, keep our old man load out. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I did hold off on watching The Last of Us, Last of Us until like the whole first season came out, just because like, I know I've said this a million times, but I, I nowadays don't like watching shows while they're still airing because I've been burned too many times. I'm only gonna commit to it if I know it's good, and everyone says first season's good, so I can jump into that. Hey there, MG Tower. Welcome back to the stream. I just got off the ship on the planet I was just on. Gosh. This is a great start, guys. <laughs> or having just saved so it's a favorite, so you can check. Registers, Pathfinder. I don't know if, like, the emails have been, like, that important. Admittedly. Yeah, I need to go to Vold, not Havar. Jeez, I don't know why I keep getting these two planets mixed up. This is... We're 80 hours into Roger. this game. I should not be having this problem. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's back up out of the system. Let's get out of here. Okay. Um, Vold. Here we go. Truth and Trespass. Yep. He 
He's like, we're not flying. He's like, we fly to a planet, we stay there forever, and then we just go to another system, fly around a little bit, scan some planets. Then we go to another planet, and then we go to Kadara again. Beginning approach. Like, I gotta give him something to do. He didn't feel like flying around the volcano and Phoebe steady. wanted to go there. Yeah, let's go to the landing zone on the proper planet. Approaching the LZ. I will say this weekend I did start rereading the stand because I realized that I needed something to do away from technology for a few days. And I'm like, oh, I didn't finish reading the director's cut. So I started over. <laughs> I couldn't remember the new bits that were added in and I already put a good dent in it. I've really got to check out the show even though I know it's bad. I know it's bad. There has yet to be a good adaptation of The Stand, and honestly, I don't know if there ever could be one. Um, ooh, that's... Okay, I think... Yeah, there's multiple spots we can go to. Let's go this... Uh, um, actually, hold on. First, there we go. Otherwise, I'm gonna get mixed up by those markers. Here we go. Where's the car? Here we go. Let's see. So it's the one in that direction. Drag, you're still with us. I am surprised. I mean, that's After very... what happened with the Krogan on the Archon's ship. Siding with Solarians cut deep. But I'm not one to quit every time I get cut. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Drag. I'm sorry. Let's get a scan. Um, do we have get to? A scan. No, we don't need to. It's fine. We don't need to scan. Oh, we need to fight these guys, though. remains. Yep, you go take care of that. I'll scan. Let's get a scan. Yes, I know, Ryder. You want to scan. Where is that last one? Doing something out there. I'm reading a temperature decrease. Oh, there you are. Got him. <laughs> hey there, Olaf. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well tonight. The ambient the temperature <laughs> is normal. Life support is back online. Oh. Uh, it, it has been many moons since I have grown. <clears throat> so that happens when you're only five feet tall. I know you can't get a sense of scale here, but... Um, okay, so it's around here somewhere? Oop. Whoop. No. Mm. Not getting any readouts. Oop. Do we see a glowy over here?
I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Nope. Nope, that's nothing. Stream at 144p. Oh no. Oh. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. We've had that the old time when we've been Life like streaming something. It's just like we notice the quality's bad and it's like, what happened? It's like, oh, it just decided to go down to like 480. It's like, oh, okay. Didn't ask for it, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Track, stop being so dramatic. Pixels. <laughs> I got pixels in my pixels. Okay, where is this thing? Okay. Am I missing it? Like, what? Are they hiding it? What's happening here? It's not the car. Let's see. I think I went this way. Okay. Is it on the ice, maybe? Um. Okay. It's over this way. <laughs> here. So around here, let's see. Yeah, there's something around here. Uh, scan for evidence from cat handler or its equipment. So on him? This cat oh has my a god. Com device implanted. Particle vibration on the transmitter resembles Solarian encryptions. Resembles doesn't prove much. The cat could have found the implant on the Solarian arc. Warm up a little bit. There is still Adam's equipment. Ah. Alright, now let's head back to the car. Here I'm like, there's nothing here. What's beeping? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's uh it's a little dead. What do we got here? Trading favors. Search the nav point on Vold for the missing supplier. Okay, let's do this one. We're already here, why not? I know I could have driven back, but it's fine. Let's see. Where's that point? Here we go. Oh, New Phoenix Wright game coming! <laughs> well, kinda had that. Investigations. Although we're getting more investigations, if I'm remembering correctly. We are nearing the nav point provided by Sokar Esel on Aya. Fight happened here. No bombs, though. I recognize him. That's Keldor. One of yes. Sokal's suppliers. I'm still so surprised it took them so long to bring some of those games over. Like, the Ace Attorney series is popular. Scans reveal these crates contain Angaran weapons. Oh, really now? Oh, did Sokal not mention he helps us out sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> Got to mention it. Evidence of gunfire, possibly explosions. Of course. And here's the ambush. They can't draw aggro. There's that last one. Alright, fine, we'll drive to you. There we go. Taken care of. It's okay, I'll drive to you. It's fine. All right. And that's been 
Search, recover the supply. Oh, what? Oh. I guess I gotta go pick them up. Hold up. Here. Oh, good. Playing Columbia and Copa America. Oh. All good. That's like, that's the nice part about streaming is that like, you can just kind of hang out and be like, oh, what's going on? Okay. Um, let's go back to... Oh no, we're gonna go back to Aya. Oh yeah. Um, truth and trespass. That's our mission. So, I think. Oh yeah, this one's a cave. I'm like, oh, am I gonna have to find a way up this hill, up this mountain? No, there's the cave. It's fine. Hmm. There it is. Come on, Ryder, you can run over some rocks. Reason. You're fine. You know? I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support restored. Context little can be gleaned from this laboratory equipment. This equipment has been go. sterilized with a standard radioisotope. There are trace elements of biomaterial that could be consistent with exaltation pods. Mm. Or they could be leftovers from Adam's experiments. Both of these leads seem circumstantial. Nothing proves Adam betrayed the Ark. Collaborators usually show more sign. Let's go back to the Nexus and ask Rake about this. She can know something. All right. So I think that's it for here. Fast travel somewhere, we can get back to the car. I'm reading a temperature decrease. Boy, I love being on the snow planet. Not as bad as sand, but dang. Actually, speaking of sand, what was something I was thinking about the other day? I think I was telling somebody about, like, back when I was a little kid, I hated the feeling of sand on me. I loved going to the beach, but I hated when sand would get, like, stuck on my feet on my legs and stuff Old Arba is steady. so as a kid I would keep like washing off the sand but then of course you're walking through sand so you get more sand on you like it's just you, you couldn't win but becoming an adult is when you realize that if you put sand on you give it a couple minutes it'll dry and it'll just brush right off it's, it's the patience <laughs> uh yeah let's head this way I don't know, I just, I hated the sensation of it. I'm still not a huge fan of it, but like, I can tolerate it up until the point where I can just brush it off. Let's see, to the Nexus. Docking bay. Should I go see my brother? Honestly, at this point, I should just start adding my brother's face to the thumbnail. Ooh. Oh, 
will say it is a good time for sports right now. For those who like it, you've got the pre-Olympics. Wimbledon's going on right now. There's soccer slash footy. Just wrapped up the Stanley Cup. No matter what your sport of choice, you got something you can cheer for. There we go. I will say, as a Canadian, I kind of always have to be on like the peripheral of what's going on when it comes to the Stanley Cup, but. I'll only watch it if it's like Canada's doing really well in the Olympics, in the Winter Olympics. Other than that, eh. Yes! I think it only just started yesterday. I've got a partner who's into tennis, so it's the only reason why I know how to pronounce some of the names. Because <laughs> I gotta say, there are certain sports where pronouncing the names can be a little bit tricky. Um, I used to struggle with the tennis names. It, it helps when you've got a, a partner that you can I hear bounce you're the idea Major off Salem of. Or it's like, investigation pronounce it Adam. this way. It's like, no, you know no, no. Salem? This way. I met him once or twice. A remarkable yeah. agent, despite his age. Unfortunately, my attempts to aid him have stalled. Hmm. Yeah, what's your take on this, Rika? I trust you. What do you, you make of Salem's theory that someone betrayed your people? It seems monstrous, but the more I consider it, the more the facts seem to fit. I've tried enlisting ARC leadership, those who woke first, but they've been busy, unhelpful, or both. Perhaps we should get creative. Interesting. Yeah, European Soccer Cup, Copa America, Tour de France. Oh, right, Tour de France. Jeez. The games. Yeah, there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> ah, let's start a little chaos. Let's start some problems. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Hey. If we don't break the rules, who will? One of the ARC officers who woke early, Rand Lawn, has an apartment here. If he's too busy to help, you could scan around, carefully, see what you can find. I mean, they'll play, but... I, I always hope they'll do well. But am I going to put money on it? Probably not. down below oh. here we go search his apartment breaking and entering it's not a mass effect game unless i'm breaking breaking and entering into somebody's apartment a ray of hope for sleep starved residents hmm. maintenance begins on malfunctioning sun lamps causing unending daylight in some nexus quarters <gasps> oh no not Is unending daylight i mean depending on where in the world they're from that might be what they're used to. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, I find it's usually hit or miss. It's usually the US or Canada. That like makes it into some of like the European tournaments. Locked. I may be able to hack this, Pathfinder. I'm already doing it. And we're in. Definitely the apartment Reka mentioned. Hey, what are you doing here? Freshly vacuumed. Traces of dust still remain. Based on the scourge radiation count, they came from a remote world. So Rand Lawn, or someone in his apartment, when exploring out there. Dr. Camden. <laughs> the dust is not from any system local to the Nexus. That is terminal. Ooh, to Randlon from Neost Hearn. I bet it's canoeing for medals. Hey, everybody's got to have their sport, right? I mean, it'd be great if our respective countries have more than one sport, but can't always be the case. You, you got to have your your ace in the hole there. Here are the estimates you asked for, adjusted for current inflation on the Nexus. MTF. 12,400 credits, MTQ, and 8,000 MMP, 6,500 credits. Congratulations again on the Prochero's safe return, N. Hearn. Invitation from Oben Keld. 
I appreciate even one reply. Twelve invites in twelve days has kept me distracted. I hope those three junior staff are still accompanying you. It's probably simpler to book space for twelve on the commons and four on the mezzanine, plus one, just in case. That way, if we need one more place, we're prepared. See you on the 18th. OB. This is an automated reminder for Technical Officer Rand Lawn. Your prescription is ready to pick up from Medical Dispensary 02. Pick up code that. Uh, auto generated by Med Monitor 6. Okay. Picks up his medicine. He has appointments. Password protected. Yeah. Little help, Sam? Accessing. It contains financial and personnel reports. However, the EM signature suggests data was recently cleaned. Hmm. So someone could be just setting him up. My guess is it's it's our Garrick friend. Uh, anything else? Plant. It's been watered recently. A single fiber is caught on a leaf. It shows traces of novetamine. A drug? A neurodepressant reported in some Andromeda wildlife. This plant is not one of them. Okay, something's fishy. Sam, can you work out which planet the dust on the floor came from? I have a candidate. No record of any official visit. Once in orbit, I can approximate a nav point. Okay, common plant seen throughout Helios. This is foreign material on one leaf. Or there is foreign material on one leaf. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, hello. What are you doing in my apartment? You must be Rand Lawn. Yes. You're the one who saved our Ark. What are you doing here? <laughs> Oopsie, I wandered into the wrong room. My bad. I can I can save a whole Ark, but... Terrible with directions. Not a lie. Not a lie. My fault. I'm visiting a friend, and... Well, these doors all look alike. My room You're is quite locked. obviously not here by accident. Now please, explain why you broke in, or I'll have to report this to the militia. Good luck. <laughs> I mean, I'm not lying. I'm kind of lying, but there is some truth to the lie. Um, I don't know if I want to tip him off, so I'm going to go for the most vague one. No, I'm going to be direct. Because if this is, like, some sneakiness on the agent's part, He'll be like, that guy, he's been trying to frame me for years. Like, I slept with his wife and he never got over it. I'm working with Major Salen Varn. He has the paperwork. Salen? Huh, I see. If the Major's at it again, this makes more sense. What do you mean? No, I won't spread rumors. You can go, but I wouldn't break into any more homes on Salen's advice. No, 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 no. I want the tea. Tell me. Tell me. If I've been misled, I should hear these rumors. The Major is brilliant, but he's just been in STG too long. He's been bothering us with conspiracies since he woke up. It's common in retired agents. They can't navigate a world without espionage. I see. Look, let's forget this happened. For the Major's sake. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Oh, oh, Still got that planet identified, Sam? Yes, Pathfinder. Let's see why Rand or his fr Oop. I was going in the middle of nowhere. All right. I go to my family every day. They can't believe half of what I tell them. I gave Pedro almost the best start a Pathfinder could, but we can't predict everything. We just do our best. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm, I imagine I walked past a news report. Because I think that happened the last time, too, where it's just like, oh, the cat attacked Prodromos. And it's just like, well, I can't stay guarding them forever. I got other Pathfinder stuff to do, you know? Here we go. Activate scanner? Wait, wait. Actually, maybe exit. No, go to the nav point on Eladen. Okay. Really 
going on a tour here. All right, Elidith. Oh, So we started on Havaro, we went to Vold, went to the Nexus, now we're going to Elida. I don't want to jinx it, but I also noticed we have no yet to take on the giant sandworms on Elida. We're on course. Might be premature. That time might not be here yet, but maybe soon. All right, let's land. Keep the old man squad. I don't know, part of me almost feels like if I keep Drek around, maybe he'll come around, even though I know that's not how this works. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna say we're definitely going to Kadara at some point. Like, a quest line is gonna demand that I go there. I'm not gonna choose to to make it 100%. I'm just saying. Guaranteed this quest line is going to take me to Kadara. Okay. Now where are we heading? <laughs> it's not if, but when. Okay. Um, oh, speaking of going out to the sandworms. Um... Maybe we are fighting the same worms now. Okay, let's see. So it's 8.06 in uh, in Canada right now, in Ontario. Let's say we have to go to Kadara at the rate we're moving before 8.30. So within like the next 20 minutes. Just because I feel like I'm making steady progress on this quest line. Ooh. Oh, hi. There we go. <laughs> Oh, I love this game. Whoop. Sandworms. Alright, we gotta head in this direction. Actually, hold on. Before we get too far, let's see. I'm not afraid of the sandworms, because if anything, they run away from me. Stars above. It's... Real. Analysis Where? shows it's a remnant of missile. Locals call it the worm. Oh. Non hostile and impervious to weaponry. However, I advise keeping your distance. Good to know. That's like the first proper explanation we've gotten for it. Oh, you're fine. Oh, like, don't try and fight it. Unless it's going to be like, it's a worm. No, it's an architect. It's a husk. Or, uh, here we go. Is this it? Pathfinder, these are the approximate coordinates extrapolated from the Solarian apartment. It appears empty. There's sand traps all over. Let's look under the surface. Sand traps. Maybe I should have driven, but... There we go. Ooh, yeah, we're a ways. Um, let's get the car. We got the nav point, it's fine. I'll just shuffle my way down the sand dune here. <laughs> He's running like her feet are just, it's like, oh, hot sand, hot sand. There, scavengers. Likely unfriendly. The trail leads right to them.
Intel. Let's get him back on his feet. She ran into my bullet. So it's conversation. Does the bare minimum to keep it? Doesn't give openings are to develop subjects or just talk about. I mean, that's a sign of somebody who just kind of probably wants to talk about themselves or something that they want to talk about. Fact of the matter is, you gotta have some back. There we go. That's unfortunate. It feels like kind of a waste of time when stuff like that happens. Ooh, credits. I'll take those. I will say that's something I don't miss about dating apps. It's like having to like fight for a conversation. Hey, Salem, man. What happened to you? Salem. <laughs> Very familiar for our first real meeting. Not funny, Solarian. Mm. I contacted you, hoping one of my suspects would do something reckless, and unfortunately, <clears throat> he did. I imagine I was supposed to vanish out here while he used my cloak device. Any Salem you met was Dr. Adden in disguise. Wait, you... He asked me to analyze leads that could implicate him. Let me guess. Adam asked you to scan those leads. I suspected the traitor was hiding messages on optical encoders. Those messages were the real proof I needed, but a powerful scanner like yours would wipe them. I haven't used you and uh, my investigation to cover his tracks. Canny bastard. Great. <laughs> uh... I examined an apartment belonging to a Solarian officer, Rand Lawn. The clues there led me to you. Interesting. That confirms my suspicions. Everything comes back to our arc. Adam didn't have the clearance to alter logs or affect the NAV computer, yet he's obviously guilty. I suspect Adam is the front man for a conspiracy involving the cat. He's the key to blowing it open. Man, I, like, I don't know who to trust at this point. Like, I don't trust I don't trust you. I don't trust him. I don't... Stop getting me involved in your problems. <laughs> right. Except Adam got rid of anything we had on him, and I'll bet Rand Lawn has disappeared. Adam. Ah. He forgot the dart he poisoned me with. Still in there, with the ballistics intact. Contact Adam. Feign ignorance and ask for a meeting. I'll be there to arrest him. We'd need somewhere to meet Adam. Somewhere neutral. There are caves on Kadara that might be suitable. Send the word. 813 not even like not even 10 minutes not even 10 minutes son of a bitch <laughs> here I thought I was like I'm like you know what by making it like like 20 minutes there's a chance I could lose but no I never lose. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, let's get out of here. God damn it, going back to Katara again. <laughs> It means we gotta go out in the wastes. Getting out to the wastes is so time consuming. Sorry, I know I'm complaining a lot. I really shouldn't. Uh, nope. Here we go. I mean, admittedly, where else would they have sent me? I've been on the Nexus. You're gonna send me to Aya? I mean, maybe. I guess, but... Can't shoot things on Aya. You can shop and talk to people. That's pretty much it. I like Kadara. It's got everything. I'm glad at least through this mission we've gotten some like 
at least a bit of background on the sandworms, kind of. At least we kind of know what they are and why I can't hurt them and why they don't seem to bother with anything. Could still be a problem later, but that'll be a later problem. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I can go to the wastes from here. Here we go. Go to the slums. Yep. Get rid of the loadout. Let's go. So, has anyone been up to anything new and exciting? I know we kind of talked a bit about what games we're playing. Has anyone been, aside from sports, just because we already kind of covered that a little bit, anyone been watching anything good lately? I realized I'm making a lot of uh, headway into Friends, and it's like, oh, dang, I'm going to need another show soon to watch while I'm eating my meals. Uh, yeah, let's get out the Nomad. Now, where are we heading? Oh, I've heard good things about it. How is it? Oh, nope. I'm trying to remember, is it getting a season two? Oh, I gotta be up there? Oh. Maybe I should have started this way. Hold on. I gotta take a different route. Or wait, no, it's a cave. Dang it. Okay. No, I'm an idiot. It's in there. It's in the cave. Yeah. It was, um... Shoot, I'm trying to recall his name. Reese Darby, I think? I should really remember his name. I've seen him do stand-up, actually. He came to Toronto one time. Look, no fight here now. myself extra work for nothing. Here we go. I mean, we're in no rush. We already made it to Gadara. Yeah, I've heard good things about our flag means death. Yeah, because it's him and Taika Waititi, if I'm recalling correctly. Here, before I talk to you, Get that Ezo shunt. All right, who are you? There you are. Did you investigate those leads? I learned you're a cat collaborator and a murderer. What? Who's one victim short? Oh, so it's true. Old spies really do live forever. This old spy would punch you if he wasn't <clears throat> carrying evidence in his chest. I tried to give you a decent burial, Major. There was no time to convince you of our cause. Save it, Adam. You betrayed your people. You'll never see daylight again. My people agreed to this. Several of us what? woke early, prepped the Ark, and then we found the Ket, an unstoppable enemy. So we made a pact. Sacrifice our Ark to the Ket and learn their secrets. So one day, we could destroy them along with their exaltation. I mean, sure. Like, our entire civilization out here would be decimated, and hundreds of innocent people would die, but we'd get revenge. Like, we'd take them down eventually if they didn't miss like distrust us and kill us first like that's that's stupid hey i know how not to get exalted get ourselves exalted you idiot 
Listen, there is an empire of Ket beyond Helios. All powerful conquerors who will invade us eventually. The secrets we learn could stop our extinction before it begins. Give us our freedom, and they're yours. Don't let this go to waste. <laughs> Uh Yeah, Drax like, you know, could have saved my my group, you know. Could have saved those Krogans, but no, you want to just save the Solarians that some of them wanted to get caught anyway. Uh, okay. He's going to say, "Don't you want to wouldn't you like to know?" What exactly are you offering? The intricacies of the Ket Empire. Vassals, potential weak points, exaltation secrets. Which we can't confirm. And you could have pulled out of your cloaca. We had to sacrifice civilians for this, Major. Will you let that be for nothing? You didn't have to do that. <laughs> Done. Freedom for intel. No. Let's arrest him. Put this traitor where he belongs, Major. We have particular accommodations for collaborators. Arrest me, and you'll never find the others. I've got nothing but time to look. I'm retired, remember? Me, Reka, the others, we all owe you for this ride. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I need a militia pickup, the doctor, and the biggest drink on the Nexus. And then they just walk off, and it's all fine and dandy. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Uh, so I know that could have been a moral dilemma. And admittedly, this game has had like some fun surprise ones where it's like, ooh, like what do I pick? Some of these are tough. I feel like this is probably the easiest one where it's like, it's like I just went through all the trouble to save the Solarian art. Like, and I know this is like my playthrough, but like in mine, I chose to save Reika. I said, maybe if I sacrifice Solarians for Krogans? Like, would I still have that option? I'm assuming not. So if you pick the Solarians to save, you could still go back and be like, nah, never mind. Get him out of here. I've now sacrificed Solarians and Krogans for nothing, potentially. Welcome back. Admittedly, one of the weaker moral dilemmas. There have been some good ones. That wasn't the best one. Uh, nothing new here. What else do we have? Investigate crashed catch ships on Elodin. I mean, we could do that. Um, what else do we have here? It's, nope. Inter integrate ghost storm technology with Tempest to help other Pathfinders. We could do that. You have oh. AVP outstanding Pathfinder. Oh, okay. There we go. Let's get our rewards. Cryopods. Innovation. Increase augmentation slots by one on all research projects. Not that I really ever use them. Admittedly, I know that's probably a, more of a fault in the way I play, but we'll get it for completionist's sake. The Ghost Storm technology has been fully researched, Pathfinder. Excellent. We're ready to make our push on Meridian then. I'll call a meeting immediately. All right, um, for those who have played this bit, would an hour be enough <laughs> to, to kickstart this? Because I know some it's of these missions, already, you know what, let's go for it. We're giving it an hour. Call crew meeting. Everyone, the get Nexus in here. The Nexus leaders think our search for Meridian is a waste of time, but we know they're wrong. Turning on vaults won't be enough without the heart of the system. Just to clarify, you're defying a direct order? I'm the Pathfinder. I do whatever the fuck I want. No, not me. We. 
We are going to defy them. Aha, <laughs> that's the spirit. See, I want them over again. And the kit? Rebellious That's spirit. where the ghost storm technology comes in. Isn't that right, Reka? Absolutely. Our forged signals should divert some cat from you. It won't be all of them, but it'll be enough. The Tempest is small and fast. I don't need a big window. We'll drop you off and make our exit before the cat catch on. Once we're on Meridian, it'll be a small team. Move fast, figure out its secrets. Right behind enemy lines. Good time to assess their numbers, defenses. And when you're ready, we'll extract you the same way we got you in. If we come back with actuals on Meridian, the Nexus will sit up. Sounds like a solid plan. Reka, you ready? Good to go on your word, Pathfinder. All right, guys, this is it. Let's get moving. All right. Let's see how we do out there. Oh, there's the pie jack. Hey, buddy. Hey, little guy. Go to key Maybe to see. up on the uniform protocol there. Subsection shirts. Civilian ship. What will they do? Dock my pay? We get paid. What? You buy it next time we go to Godara? <laughs> we'll be there in 20 minutes. You see my tab. Oh, ship banter. Love some good ship banter. All right, let's do a quick save before things potentially get off the rails. Now orbiting Kadara. Unfortunately. All right, there we go. A new system. Which, which we can scan after. We, I know time is of the essence right now. We're gonna take Meridian. If the Archon's information is right, to. this is the system. Meridian should be here somewhere. I'm sure they're following us. On approach. Trajectory looks good. We got some scourge hanging around. That's it. That's Meridian. Or Kitasira, as the Keth called it. it. Looks like a giant space station. An enormous remnant space station, which the Archon believes is Meridian. Alert, there is a strong Ket presence in the area, and scans have picked up multiple Ket warships orbiting the construct. Let's go. Let's hop in, baby. Nope. We're, we're keeping the loadout the way it is. It's working for us so far. And I pretty much got my my team members all maxed out. Initiating ghost storm on my mark. Three, two, go. Let's see how we do. Enemy signature detected. Commence pursuit. Breaker is working. Reading a bunch of cat headed our way. Pulling back. It's all you now, Tempest. We should get them as close as possible to here. Intense readings could be some kind of control center. No decent landing sites. This could get messy. How messy? Very. Ryder, looks like a flyby is our only option. I'll get as low as possible, but you'll have to eject over the target area. I've fallen out of so many things now, I should be a pro. Heard about but your have you fallen out of a fish 7. tank? Liam said he could hear you screaming the whole way down. Keep it buttoned this go round, huh? It's embarrassing. All right, you know the drill. Watch your rate of descent. Shield should take care of the rest. So far, so good. The cat haven't detected us. But once we go in, we'll be clear as day to any troops on the ground. Don't worry about us. Just make sure you and the Tempest get out safe. Loud and clear. All right, let's go team. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna have to fight some big Krogan here, aren't we? 
everyone okay? I may be old, but my plating's still plenty hard. We'll need to survey the area, figure out what we're dealing with. I am detecting active conduits nearby. Your scanner should be picking them up. It's great. Should have got the Tempest to drop us over there. Sigh. It's fine, we got it. We're interfacing. Pathfinder, while interacting with that console, I detected the presence of a complex network connected via a central command hub. Oh, can't save. Okay. A hub? You mean we found Meridian's controls? Most likely. However, the hub is dark. Deactivated. Hmm. So we're gonna reactivate it, and I'm gonna guess something bad's gonna happen, and the Archon's gonna take it. And then it's gonna be a matter of, like, we're seizing back control of Meridian from the Archon. Meridian's all about. We can start by finding its central hub. All we got. Let's go for it. Pathfinder, we are looking at the central command hub I detected earlier. As with the monoliths and vaults, the hub is connected to the two neighboring towers. So activating the towers will also activate the command hub. Change in plan. I say we activate Meridian now. Ken won't like that. Activating a vault has previously activated a purification field. Perhaps Meridian is similar. Let's head to those towers and see what we can find. Pathfinder, interfacing with that console has activated a gravity well. Alright, let's hop in. Or drop in. Pathfinder, I'm picking up radio interference, a cat signal. Oh boy, we got friends up ahead. The detected signal was a decoy. Peter's era has been infiltrated. All units are to focus on incapacitation and capture of the Pathfinder. Not a chance they're getting you, kid. Oh, he's my friend again. Here we go. Probably should have just left it. <laughs> will not wear, but good to have. Could sell it. Deconstruct it. Turn it into something fun. Let's see. What do we got here? Be careful. 
can't have really made themselves at home here. Hmm. Did they drop off anything? Here, I wanted to see what the this said. The sector of space stations overgrown with strange vegetation. It's unclear how it managed to grow and thrive in this environment. Okay. Well, I guess we get down there looking. Wow, it's all completely overgrown. Oop, we've got a connection over this. to one of those towers. We need to activate both to reach Meridian's core. Ooh, hey. Oh my god, move. shoot you if you come out. <laughs> Ran away, coward. Alright, where's that connecting point? Billy? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's still standing. Alright, unnecessary, but that's fine. Uh, we got an enemy up here. Whew. I mean, I don't know why he didn't believe me. I'm an honest person who's never done anything wrong ever. Um, oh, it's over that way. Maybe something over this way? I guess I could have snuck up on them this way. That's okay. 
We adapt. Ooh, hello. That's a lot of cat equipment. Looks like they set up camp. There we go, in case we get any more. And that's where that goes. Um, any refill spots around here? Hold on, that looks like a container. Nope, it's not. Could use more bullets. Oh, hello. The human pathfinder will make an attempt on key to Sira, or Meridian, as it is known to these creatures. It is a predictable course of action. It believes itself my equal and will attempt to steal the remnant's power from us. We have worked long and hard to unlock these secrets. We will not be usurped by this lesser creature. I have dispatched my enforcer, my sword, to the space station to handle this human. She will be my voice. Obey her as you would your Archon. Work on the remnant must continue in the meantime. With Kitasira fully under my control, Helios, the Angara, and the Pathfinder's peeper, people <laughs> will all yield. Our rise is assured. It has always been assured. Victory is inevitable, and Ket are patient. It frustrates and angers me that this place was hidden from my people for so long. I do like that we're getting, like, unique dialogue with, with Jal. Getting that unique Angar perspective. What are we working with here? Oh, hello. Um. Heavy artillery. What? This isn't going well. So busy shooting me, the Krogan's kicking the crap out of me. That was a lot going on right there. Ugh. I mean, I know this is what happens when you leave Krogan behind to get assimilated, but dang. Here we go. Oh, could I have activated that? Oh. Well. Can I unactivate it? Alright. Um, hmm. Uh. Whoop! Jaw, don't do that. Normally they let me do that, but um, maybe just thoughtlessly activating consoles is not the best idea. There we go. Um, whoop. Okay, this ain't working. I'm gonna turn that off. Whoop. Whoop. 
Frank. No. No, get. Ugh. I hate this electric water. <laughs> I jump in it every single time. Uh, the whole room is blue, and I keep jumping in the electric water. Uh, okay, let me see if I can turn this off from here. If not, maybe I can see if I can turn it off from the other side. Ugh, there's gotta be a way. Maybe from the other side? Jeez. Okay, uranium, neat. Um, whoop. I mean, fun, but not all that helpful to me now. Oh, honestly. Okay, how the heck am I supposed to deactivate that? I literally can't now. It's like, hey, you gotta get in there. And it's like, I hear ya, but I don't know how now. And my friends are dumb, and they keep trying to run in there. Ooh. Don't die. Um, Cause that way's locked. Um, is there any other way? Guys, please don't walk in there. I might have to walk in there. There is literally no other way to... Okay, that ain't working. How the heck do I deactivate this? Can I now deactivate it? Like, what... Control the remnant mechanisms. Okay, great. But how do I deactivate that? Uh, uh gang, I'm a little stuck. Because <laughs> it says you gotta go through there. And I'm like, I hear ya. But. There is literally nothing for me to deactivate those. Um, no, container. Neat. I'll take it, but... I mean, I'd rather not have to reload the area and fight all those guys again. I can't... It says I have to go through there, but... I, I can't. I physically can't without hurting myself. And I can't unlock the door either. It's the annoying thing about it. Yeah, it's, it's full on locked. I can't get in. I don't see any. We've got two here. We've got one over there. Oh my god. Okay. Let's let's try it. All right. Let's. Here. Oh, we got a new friend. are still active. Okay. Um, Alright. I figured that would be it to get in, but maybe it's not. Okay, we got someone walking around. So it's like, hey, you gotta go this way. And it's like, I would love to. went invisible, jaw went invisible. Hmm. Okay, let's let's 
beep beeping over here. that's the power relay, which yes, I know that's there. Heh. <laughs> they took care of it. Now unfortunately we gotta take care of them. squatting here. Too long. Ooh. Yeah, that did it. I hope someone here has a good sense of direction. I don't. Oh, great. Now we're really in trouble. It's all up to Drac. Ooh, hello. A container. Take that. I still think I should have been able to go in there. But... Okay. Because what are we looking at here? We're looking at... Activate the tower in the research sector. I'm just saying, I feel like I should be able to go in there. It feels very strange that I can't. Anyway. That's it. Okay. Alright, guess we go this way. Tempting. Here we go. Just the way All I taken like. care of. This was some fight. Detecting high levels of scourge energy. Be careful. Hmm. Oh, 
gladly take that. Uh, nothing up here? Okay. Wait, hello. Sorry, Drac. Is this one of your friends? Oh! Where'd he go? He was scannable here. And then just poof. Yeah? Okay. Sam, what do you think? Intense vortexes of scourge energy. I'll try I would going stay back. Here if I were you, Pathfinder. It's weird I couldn't go in there, right? Okay, got a pathway of some kind. Okay, these are busted, but this one works. the energy waves from these craters contributed to the scourge throughout Helios. So whatever happened here caused the scourge to erupt all across the cluster? Yes, Pathfinder. Mm. This scourge started here. With the remnant builders? Could also have been an attack by hostiles. Damn it! Scourge tendrils. We should be good. Not gonna press any consoles that I don't understand. Got some ammo. Let's get in here. Okay, we got another room of friends, I imagine. Let's get ready for a fight. This looks like a big old room for fighting. Um, not seeing any Lots enemies. Of stuff here. Penta. I see the conduits. Some kind of pattern here. Okay. The conduits. Yes. Okay. So it goes that way. but eventually goes up there. Okay. I don't know what that does. And at this point, I don't want to... Mm. Remnant console. Pierce control large flow of amounts of energy. I'm gonna assume I have to press this. Wow, I think that's fried. Will it even work? Great. I have no idea. Ask Sam. Damage to parts of the system are preventing power up. Give me a Can minute to try to. Past the damage? That may work, Pathfinder. Boosting trace signals. Some kind of glyph on this thing. It matches the pattern on the main console, Pathfinder. Okay. So I imagine we need to do this in order. It starts off 
there. Okay. Let's see about rerouting the power past all the damage. Double checking, so it starts. What? Remnant security node. Okay, uh, that's probably gonna power up as soon as we start messing around with things. That's not right. That triggered remnant defenses, Pathfinder. One more try at rerouting this power. Okay. So are we starting it that way then? Okay. I was supposed to work my way out, I guess. Okay. So, it starts off at this one. Nice. Okay, then it goes to that one. See, I started it in the wrong order. That was my problem. I had the right idea. Whoop, hello. Spot of you. This one. So far, so good. That one. Seems to be working. And then the last one. And yes, I did see that container under the stairs. I will get to it. Ooh. That's it. The primary console should work now, Pathfinder. All right, let's give her a try. What do we Additional got? Additional repairs are complete, Pathfinder. Only one way to know for sure. Translating. Flight control systems online. Welcome, administrator. Hmm. Looks like those repairs worked better than expected. Restoring systems has reactivated something else nearby, Pathfinder. Yeah, but what? vessels on standby. Ooh. We have seen remnant ships, but none in working condition. Interesting. It says it cannot retrieve commands from the Meridian engine. Huh. Meridian engine. Sam, do you know what... Whoop. They're going to be trouble. Oh, 
Charlie. up on ammo Whew. all right for a second there i was like oh what like do we have some rem tech on our side to, to take these guys on it's like no you have to fight them first and then you can fight the cat here we go so now we have to head back Where we came and hopefully oh um it seems active oh hello let me just make it friendly oh, i've seen a lot but this is something else one more tower to go before the hub powers up Good boy. Let's see. This place would be a gift to the Ankara if we could eliminate the kit. We could learn so much from it. We'll make that happen. What if activating Meridian ends up being good for the kit? The Archon's forces have been here for years, and they're nowhere close to being able to understand remnant tech. Until we activate it. friendly we're good Oof. I don't know who's friendly and who's not anymore <laughs> there's a lot of lights here once we get everything turned on this place will, will be blinding I don't think they'll blind you uh, they aren't bright enough Oop, don't yeah, track I don't fall just... <clears throat> yes <clears throat> never mind now, I did see a remnant core bit but you know what I'm not gonna worry about that right now we, we got some other stuff going on here. Okay, just need to bring one more tower online. Yep, we, we tried that before, but let's give it another go. Wrong turn. That's okay. What I think we went from this way. Like this? There we go. with us? Alright, 
let's give this another go. Better not be new enemies in here. I already cleared the room. Oh, those are still alive. Oh my god, there are more enemies in here. What? This isn't going well. the other side <laughs> I have not but I feel like we've gotten we've killed at least four um, oh, there's still no way to oh there's still no way to disarm that okay all right let's go 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 okay we're fine we're okay not ideal but we did it. All right. <laughs> this shit just gets weirder and weirder. Yeah, you're telling me. All right. Let's interface. It's very dark. That's all right. We're turning the lights on. It'll just take a minute. But yeah, I think there were like five of his scouts, five or six, and I'm pretty sure we've killed at least four. Because it was one right off the bat. There's been at least three since we've been what here. What the hell? Translating. Pattern 1-3. Viability 56.2%. Genetic template transmitted for testing. They were doing things to the Ankara. Looks like they were running experiments of some kind. We have to save them. Get them out somehow. Jal, Pathfinder. They cannot be saved. What? I have analyzed the glyphs. These are not the Angara we know. They are not even alive. Are they clones? I don't understand. They look so... The remnant language refers to these bodies as genetic templates. A blueprint. Like the plants we saw. The Angara? We? came from here they created us huh why huh okay i mean okay if you think about it like the fact that they give off like an electrical current it's like okay if the remnant were making like vaguely biological tech 
it might not be too big of a stretch. Doesn't matter why. Where you came from doesn't change who you are. Cool. And we still face the same conflicts. I just feel as though something has shifted. I need to think. I need to speak with Emotionai. Meridian creates life. And the Archon could use it to do the opposite. Destroy everything. It's up to us to make sure that doesn't happen. If we crack Meridian's controls first, we make sure the Archon can't use it. Oh, hi. Hi. You okay, John? Learning stuff about where you come from can really shake a person up. Whoa. You work? Right. It felt like they weren't gonna attack us. I don't know. They were scanning. I can't. I can't guarantee they were gonna attack us. But um, anything else here? Oh. Monstrous fungi, an organism best described in Milky Way terms as a giant mushroom. No way! A deeper analysis indicates the similarities are purely visual. It bears almost no similarity to the fungal organisms of the Milky Way. Okay. I can explore that. Some kind of plant prototype, you think? Vanadium Ultramaphic Node. A what? That's a lot of not quite Angara. This is both thrilling and awful. What else am I missing here? Gnarled tree. Like many of the plants on the station, the life signs of this tree are strong and indicate that it is flourishing. Its place within this vault suggests it was a prototype propagated throughout Helios by the remnant. Huh. I guess that was like their attempt at experimenting on organisms to see like, oh, well, hey, like we can make plants, we can make mushrooms and things. And do all kinds of stuff. The Archon must know what we know about our creation. That's why he's here. And I'm assuming that's also part of the reason why he's like, what the Angara? They're not Command even people. Alright, yep. the tower's going. Should get us into Meridian's main control room. Alright. Real quick break here, guys. It's working. The entire city's coming back to life. That pool was hiding a lab down there. This was what it was like before everything got messed up. Oop. A little blinky blink here. Oh! Data Pattern Testing Report 93. Selected skill appears well suited to the biology. The chosen imprecise alt airs generation discovered multiple applications, a large percentage of them completely independently. Director considers the test a success. Is what is that? Remnant what is all this? This organism appears to be held in stasis, Pathfinder. What data I can find refers to a plant as a prototype, a blueprint. Huh. Genetic experimentation. Stasis pod contains what can best be described as a giant egg. It is unclear whether the egg is incubating or if it will at some point hatch. Hmm. Oh, I can't free it, whatever it is. Let me take a peek over here. Oh, another container. Hmm. What? Who's breaking it over there? Come on, guys, we're leaving. There we go. All right. Ugly. We're not gonna last much longer. We won't last much longer. 
We're fine. This isn't going well. Hello. Tells me that wasn't uh, the sword that the Archon was talking about, but good practice. There we go. Get closer to where we need to be. What do you want me to scan? Wait, let it fight it. That's fine. up ahead. Oh, hi. Did they jumble up? Oh, are they fighting them down there?
jump on my bullets here, guys. Alright, but seem to be where we need to be. This looks like a big fighty area. How many secrets does this place hold? No idea. But that looks like a gravity well. Um. Oh, there we go. Data pattern saving. Opposition's imprecise alt foe, defiler. Next moves learned from secrets. Intelligence news from Jelm. Translation not found. Take action, protect the work. Individual life is nothing, the machine of life is everything. So they were like fighting tooth and nail to like keep the Angara like up and running. Interesting. It's getting intense on the field. Alright, let's let's mosey on over here. Let's get that first. Yeah, running out of room. You could be making it up right now and I wouldn't know. Command hub. Alright. Fighting something big in here. Finally. Got exploding barrels, so we're definitely fighting some stuff in here. Alright, let's activate it and get ready to fight. Oh my god. <laughs> You could just be making it up, and I wouldn't know. It's like, it's getting crazy out there! Translating. Connection lost. Viridian engine not found. This can't be it. Come on, guys, we're so close! Must be a way. Anyone have ideas? I don't think shooting it'll help. <laughs> One moment, uh, Pathfinder. Give him I a have great found line. something. Translating. Final administrator log. The opposition's weapon may cause widespread damage. All our weapons, our ships, will not be able to protect us. Protect my goal. We need to disengage Meridian from Command Core, which will remain here to draw fire. Meridian contains all the work of the Jardan. Nothing else matters. I will send it far. We can return one day. Continue the process of renewal. Mm. End of log. And they just never came back for it, and the Angara woke up, and they created a culture. The Archon was wrong. This isn't Meridian. Oh. Meridian is gone. So let's go find it. Uh oh. We're gonna have to get out of here. We have to get out of here! Yep. <laughs> just what I was thinking. Get ready, we're getting out of here! Sam, find me another exit! Away from the cat! Yeah. There is no other exit, Pathfinder. Oh. However, the Remnant City is not without defenses, and this is its central command. Remnant defenses. Of mm. course. Use them against the cat.
Archon wants that one. Destroy the rest. Yeah, all right, we gotta take her out. Watch your back. One of those that can cloak. I can still smell that cat stench. Which I decided. Everyone accounted for. We saw everything from orbit. It was incredible. The entire city lit up. The scans went wild. And Ryder? The cat are retreating. <laughs> Whatever you did, it worked. A full retreat. Well, that's a relief to hear. Any Finally a win. Have you got it working yet? Ah, uh, about that. This isn't Meridian. Or at least, not all of it. Hard to explain. We'll brief you later. Also, because the cat ship crashed into so it. Meridian's gone, but Who shouldn't this thing this know the nav point of where it went? Contact with the Scourge will have altered Meridian's original path. It would take countless years to determine its current location. If it takes years, then it takes years. People are relying on me. This can't take years. We find another way. Sam, can you see anything else in here? Any kind of data that could be a clue? Nothing immediately obvious, Pathfinder, but I will continue my investigations. Well, if the Scourge is messing things up, maybe that's where we should look. What are you thinking, kid? I was actually hoping one of you might continue the thought. You heard, Kalo. The Ket are running from us. 
That just means we need to push forward before they can recover. We have to find Meridian. The real one. Sam, collect all the data you can. Radio the Tempest for extraction. This is going to take work. And it's going to take all of us. At least pickup's going to be easier. A little less bumpy. Activation. Activate the Remnant City. Alright, we did it, gang. We did it. Episode 40, we did a major main story mission. They said it couldn't be done, but we did it. Pathfinder, you seem well. Mm. I'm okay. We're all How doing are quite you? well here. Thank you. That is good to hear. This journey can't have been easy. Speaking of which, you're in trouble. We know you defied us. You went to Meridian <laughs> in direct violation of initiative orders. Even though our reasons were quite clear. Come on. Yeah. You are correct, Ryder. We should have trusted your instincts. You have proven time and again that you deserve the title of Pathfinder. I have never been so glad to be wrong. You know what? For someone like him, it takes a lot for him to admit he's wrong. I'm not gonna rub it in as much as I would love to. It's like, I'm gonna be diplomatic. Thank you. I appreciate your encouragement and your candor. I am told there are still obstacles to reaching Meridian. Yes. <laughs> the initiative stands ready to provide whatever support you need. Aww. Pathfinder, if you're done with your call to the Nexus, I'd like to talk to you. I think I've found a way for us to find Meridian. Ooh. Well, I feel like that can be something we can explore in the next stream. Because I feel like this is a good stopping point. And... In the next stream, we will see where it goes from there. Honestly, yes. I want a theater room. I want to do Trip Tucker's movie night with Liam and the gang. We have been working up to this point. We deserve movie night with good popcorn and whatever the Angaran version of 3D smell vision is. Like, I, we need this. We need the levity. Some interesting revelations tonight, though, that the Angara are artificially created beings that were made by whoever made the Remnant tech. So, very interesting. I wonder, I wonder if that's why some of the Angara have been able to, like, interface with them. Not many, and not easily, but, like, there is some overlap in the code, per se in like the electronic like signals they send out that reacts with the remnant. Very interesting. I wonder if that could be like incorporated sometime down the line. Like it would get to the point where the Angara could like learn and pick up how to use remnant technology for like defending themselves against the cat or like being able to, you know, I'm, I'm trying to find the right words here. It's like a, assisting in in labor like carrying things or like building things like they're very useful little robots creepy as hell i hate them but they are useful i wonder if there's a way maybe we'll work up to that but in any case thank you so much for joining me tonight for another fun stream of mass effect andromeda big 4-0 episode oh my gosh I don't know plot-wise how much we have left, and I know I've been dawdling, so it's probably not going to be like a straight shot to the end from here. But I'm looking forward to see where the story takes us next, and we'll see what fresh little side adventures open up to us. Maybe it'll be movie night. Honestly, like, fingers crossed it's movie night, but I'm, I, I can't keep getting my hopes up. If, when it happens, it'll happen. But I can't keep anticipating it. It's just, it's breaking my heart every time I'm like, movie night? And it's like, not, not yet. How about now? No. No. Next week. But. We will pick things up on Monday night at 7.30. If anything changes between now and then, the details will be here on Twitch. They'll be on Discord. They'll be on Twitter slash X. They'll be on Threads. The word will get out there. But as it stands right now, we will be picking things up on Monday night at 7.30. And until then, I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and a lovely weekend. 
the entire game as a movie you're watching all this time. Honestly, like, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of those. I'm, I'm, ugh. that'd break my heart. If this was like, like the reboot of Blasto, like if Blasto came out at the end and saved the day and it's like turned out this was like Blasto 12, I would laugh, but then I would cry. <laughs> but I would still laugh. But in any case, I hope you have a lovely rest of your week, a lovely weekend, and hopefully I will see you on Monday night at 7.30 for some more Mass Effect Andromeda. Until then, have a good one. See ya.